uh, joining me for the Super Bowl Invitational. This is going to be uh, very, very exciting. We have none other than Gluten, who's going to be joining me. You go ahead and go live there, Mr. Gluten. And I'll make sure that I can hear you. Here you are. Here I am. <laughs> there you are. Bit of a flicker there. Uh, Gluten, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Uh, very excited for this Invitational, but even more excited to be uh, casting with you, if I do say so. Yeah, cheers, Age. Uh, feels uh, very nice to sit here and do what I actually can do uh, somewhat properly, other than <laughs> roll this marble around and miss the bowl on the last level. I hope uh, I, I don't know if you saw that, but that was. <laughs> that oh, was bad. I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> pretend that I didn't. Thanks, I appreciate just, that. Just for now. Uh, well, my name is Gluten. I'm from Sweden. Um, I am a uh, nice live to meet streamer. You. Nice to meet you too, H. We've talked before, but nice to meet everybody in chat as well. Uh, I'm a live streamer, and I've been speedrunning this game since 2020, uh, on and off. I've been doing some content for this. I've been organizing some events as well. The chapter tourney uh, last year, uh, I put that together. And um, I am uh, as well a Rocket League caster on a weekly basis, usually. So I'm very excited to be here and cast this today with H. Dude, to all of you at home i'm very excited to have you here as well again i keep saying that but that's just because it's so true um just a quick recap for anybody who might be just joining us we are about to start our super ball invitational full game race these are the top marble it up runners in the world who are competing for this uh, run if you have were been around and you saw the marble up super ball open this is going to be another level of competition Another level of difficulty, the tricks people are going for, the consistency that some of these runners have are off the charts. Uh, and I can't wait to see uh, what those runners are going to be pulling out for us. Um, oh gosh, I, I this, is, this is the race that you've been waiting for to see the coolest things that anybody in the world can do in this game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, should we go over the prices then? Absolutely. Let's recap. So we do. We have prices for uh, this race as well, of course. We've got uh, $10 to uh, the person who gets the fastest chapter time in uh, in the in the game. Uh, so we got six chapters then, so it's $60 to, to hand out on that. We got $10 to the fastest in-game time on four specific levels. And... Uh, that will be the same uh, the same ones that we just saw in this race. Wave Pool on Chapter 2, Off Kilter on Chapter 3, Staying Alive on Chapter 5, and then Olympus, the long, never-ending, I died there 10 times, Olympus on Chapter 6. And uh, anyone oh, who boy. gets a personal best this race will get $5. So uh, there's a lot of money to pick up here today. Yeah, there sure is. Um, but we have an incredible prize pool donated by our community. Over $400, 420 in fact. If you didn't know. Um, but uh, what that gives us is uh, after all of those other incentives have been paid out to uh, the winners of the chapters and the individual levels, the winners of this event will be taking home uh, parts of the pot as cash prizes. The first place finisher, whatever's left in the pot after those have been paid out, first place finisher will be going home with 50% of the pot, approximately $100. The Second place finisher will be going home with 30% of that remaining pot. And the third place finisher will be going home with 20%. So we got a huge amount of prizes going out today. Uh, again, thanks to our generous community. Um, but now I think it's just about time to get started on introducing our full game runners for the Marble It Up Super Bowl Invitational. And we're going to start with uh, one of our newer runners. Uh, not a newer runner per se. Somebody who's been in this community uh, for a very long time and uh let's go ahead and swap over to our uh race review so that we can see what they are doing All right, now we can see our first runner here in the uh, category. We're going to be watching them warm up as they go. Uh, this is Marbler. Uh, looks, <clears throat> looks really good. Yeah. 
Pardon me while I mute Savadra. <laughs> I had him, uh, <laughs> of course, unmuted because of uh, the casting in the Super Bowl Open. Uh, but Marbler is our first runner. He is uh, coming from the United States of America. Uh, Marbler's personal best is 39 minutes and 54 seconds. So he's just barely gotten under that uh, threshold to pre-qualify for the uh, Super Bowl Invitational. Uh, but he's only done three <laughs> runs. Okay, so let that sink in for a moment. Sub 40 in three runs is absolutely exceptional. Absolutely exceptional indeed. Uh, but has 2,000 hours in the game. Uh, Marbler's been around for a long time. He started playing Marble Blast Ultra in 2006. Uh, so he knows what he's doing, okay? Uh, but also a, a good chunk of that 2,000 hours has gone into creating custom levels. And in fact, he has joined the team of community contributors that um, a community contributors that have been making official levels for Marble It Up Mayhem. Uh, he's got other speedrunning experience in Portal and Portal 2, as well as Minecraft. Uh, and finally, uh, just really excited to have him here uh, as a Marble It Up developer, just like three. Uh, our next runner coming in here today is uh, my younger brother, representing the uh, good gamers of the family, Adam from Sweden, has a personal best of 38 minutes and 22 seconds. Has only been playing this game for about 400 hours, but in those 400 hours has over 400 attempts, 30 something completed, and uh, has stated that his favorite and least listening favorite to the commentators. is Olympus. So uh, a bit of a twist and pull there. And uh, Adam is known in this community mostly for uh, being the creator of doing trophy runs, where you pick up each trophy on every single level whilst you speed run the game. And uh, yeah, so he created that. Hasn't speedrun anything before, and he likes to eat raw oats. Classic raw cat. oats. Is that something he's always done since he was a kid? Uh, I wouldn't say he has, no, I cannot remember. He must have picked that up when I moved out and couldn't guide him into a sane <laughs> living style anymore. Such an odd little fact, but, you know, he is Swedish. Um, <laughs> speak <laughs> speaking of our Swede runners, our top-ranking uh, Swedish speedrunner today is Villa Olaf. Uh, I just call him Olaf most of the time, and he is very accomplished. He has a 37 minute and 50 second personal best, making him the supreme Swede of Marble It Up. This guy has over 2,000 hours in Marble It Up, and you're going to see that all of the remaining runners have uh, four digit runs, uh, four digit hours in this game uh, for sure. Uh, it's not easy to get into this game and reach the level that these people have uh, without putting in the time. Uh, Olaf has done 30 completed attempts out of about 450 attempts overall. I'm going to load up. Uh, he says his favorite level is Olympus, but also his least favorite, Olympus. I have a feeling we're going to see a pattern like that. Uh, it's a bit of a love-hate relationship that uh, so many of these runners have with it. Uh, can definitely be divisive. Um, Olaf also... Uh, has some speedrun experience. He's uh, seventh in Sweden, 350 global for Minecraft Random Sea Glitchless, uh, which is actually quite a <laughs> quite an accomplishment. That, that community has a lot of players, and uh, also done some running of Celeste and a Swedish game called Gary Gadget Building Cars. I'm not going to try to pronounce that in Swedish. For all the Swedish fans, that would be a big deal. I mean, Mullemek. We all know that. it. We all played it. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, moving on then, we've got Charles from the USA. He has a personal best in RTA speedrunning of 37 minutes and 31 seconds. He's been playing this game for 1300 hours, has completed just under 100 runs. Uh, his favorite level is Olympus, uh, going against or somewhat against the previous runners. And, uh, you but can he has a world why. record. Exactly, you can understand that because Charles does have the world record on that level. Ooh. So, might be looking to picking up those ten dollars here today, Paul. Probably. Did you have something on your mind? Uh, yeah, he said he's going for stay and skip during this run, and we just saw a very, very near miss on that finish. Uh, Ooh, but practicing it. Anyways, that's okay. Um, <laughs> Shout out to Charles's dog Daisy. We cannot forget that. Gotta we love Daisy. Oh, yeah. um, next up, representing Singapore. We have the one, the only EPL Lipswitch, uh, also just known as Eplip sometimes. 
And uh, this guy has been tearing through the full game leaderboards. Uh, has 2,000 hours in the game, uh, but vast majority of those have been custom levels. And seeing those skills transferring into the full game category is very, very impressive. Uh, uh, Eflip's personal best is currently 37 minutes and 19 seconds, uh, which is going to require a lot of more than just the basic strats. Even even a very clean run with basic strats is not going to get you this fast. Uh, and so we're every, every single runner who's here is going to be showing off uh, some really, really cool and interesting routes. Uh, Eflip has experience with Marble Blast before he started playing uh, Marble It Up. Uh, but other than that, I think uh, a flip is a little bit of a mystery. Oh, yeah, that is true. Someone who's not a mystery, or actually is, uh, is the sugar daddy of the uh, okay, Marble then. It's Up community. Our beloved Umbra Sunset <laughs> from USA. He, he's got a 36-47 personal best. He's played 7,600 hours of this game, which is the most that anyone has ever played this game and i think uh, he has been spending a lot of that a lot of those hours on escalation his favorite map most uh, of them he does yep he does a lot of kick flips and hopefully we'll get to, to see some nice ones here today and uh, hasn't speed run any other game before he just likes to roll marbles and works with uh computers yes sir and uh Quick little warm up. Actually, I'm gonna take the moment to watch this warm up since uh, Umber decided to show us. And there it is, first kick flip. Going into second kick flip. What do we got? We're going for IL. We're going for the elevator. Oh, no, uh, oh, oh gosh. Oh. Okay. We'll have to wait <laughs> and see how that goes during the run itself. But uh, next up, we've got Hyran. Uh, Hyran is uh, one of our Australian runners, uh, the best Australian runner, of course. Uh, 36 minutes and 40 seconds is his personal best set, I think, yesterday. Um, after 1,650 hours, or probably 1,700 hours by now, of Marble It Up. Uh, very, very impressive run. He's done uh, over 1,500 attempts and uh, at least 60 or 70 completed runs. Uh, this guy's known for his consistency at Chapter 1. He used to hold the Chapter World Record, uh, but now he's probably... Uh, the most consistent Chapter 1 player, at least. Uh, he definitely won the Chapter 1 qualifiers in Gluten's Chap Tourney a little while ago. Uh, we're mm -hmm. watching out. He's got a setup for a stay and skip that uses stock keyboard and mouse, so not requiring any analog inputs. Uh, so looking forward to seeing that. Uh, he's getting very, very good at it. Um, uh, other fun facts that Hyram wanted to share are that he is an aspiring artist and photographer. Uh, so make sure you're following him on, on Twitter. He's got some great photographs on there. And uh, he's left-handed, so that makes him very good at holding W. That's, uh, that is important if you do play this game with keyboard and mouse. Uh, someone who's been playing this game, or not this game, but rolling marbles at least, since childhood is our next runner, Berserk, from the USA. Got 1,215 hours in this game. He's got a personal best right now of a 36.22, so we're getting close to this sub-36 mark. Uh, hasn't completed a lot of runs, says he has done about 12, with a question mark. Uh, favorite level is Sunspire, does not like L Olympus because it is garbage. That Pure is quote. a good point, I guess, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so a lot of, a lot of love or hate for Olympus here from these runners up on the, on the top step. Uh, he, uh Berserk is known for having the, uh, Second place in the overall rating on the leaderboards and Very uh, is holding six records and 35 top fives. That is IL times in individual, individual levels. Out of 60, that's more than half, people. That's Crazy. insane. Works with making sandwiches. So uh, let's see if we can bring that skill into rolling the marble today. Nice. Right, so now, one of Berserk's uh, best friends that has also gotten into Marble Up around the same time, part of new generation of IL runners and Frame Warriors, this is Twin X, uh, Twinks, or also known as M2K, uh, representing the entire continent of North America, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy has a personal best of 3621 in a ridiculous seven or eight completed runs. Uh, absolutely nuts. Uh, but again, uh, so much of that experience, 1,000 hours of individual level running and bringing that into the full game category to show just how dominant he can be uh, 
you know, relatively inexperienced runner, but uh, up here, number six rated going into this race. Uh, Twin X also uh, really loves River Vantage. I'll hold the world record on there. Uh, not a big fan of Tangle, though. Uh, and, you know, despite the fact that he's come in and showed so much dominance so quickly, this is his first speed game. Uh, so we love seeing that. Uh, again, Marble It Up is a great inaugural speed game uh, if you've never mm -hmm. really gotten into speedrunning before. Definitely, definitely. And then now then moving into our top four, this will be. We're moving into this sub 35 minute category. This is where it gets sweaty, people. We've got J2 from the USA, has a personal best of 34.54. Wow. Six seconds under that uh, 35 minute limit. 1800 hours played in this game, has completed over 100 runs with over two and a half thousand attempts. Uh, it's a big fan of uh, the level Epoch and does not like duality. And I don't know if anyone actually does. Duality can really mess people up sometimes. Uh, he used to speedrun this game before chapter six was introduced. He's been doing some custom levels as well. And uh, says today he will be trying the 41 second uh, Archiarchy. So that will, uh, that's very exciting to see. He's been speedrunning Mario before, as well as the 2D platformer Blue Kid that I have not heard about. Maybe H has. Yeah, that's his, um, that's his profile picture, actually. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Big fan then. He likes to crochet. And uh, I, of course, will be somewhat uh, being an uh, unbiased caster, of course, but I will be rooting for him as he is signed to my esports organization. Yeah, go Neotic. Um, oh, next yeah. up, we are going to be introducing somebody you already know, and that is, of course, none other than Savadra. Savadra, uh, my co-commentator for the Super Bowl Open. Uh, this guy is one of the top-rated runners. In fact, he just took the fourth spot on the leaderboards this week. Uh, coming in under 35 minutes with a 3440 after 1100 hours of Marble It Up experience. Uh, this guy is a serious contender, uh, probably has the most momentum in terms of PB improvement of any runner going into this uh, race. Uh, Savadra is a big fan of Head in the Clouds, uh, not so much Olympus. I think uh, one of the more outspoken uh, people of... Not everybody likes Olympus, especially full game runners. Um, but he's known for uh, coming into the community a couple years ago and really establishing himself here in the uh, full game RTA uh, side of the community. Um, also, of course, I mean, there's so many other things you already know about Savagra, uh, but we're looking forward to seeing him attempting stay and skip in this full game race, and it looks like he's forming up a practice of that right now. Uh, no pressure, Savagra. Uh, we are watching. Uh, also, we are. has done some speedrunning of Celeste and uh, Death by Void, which is a Minecraft platformer. Uh, Savadra wanted you to know that he is a 22-year-old bachelor. Uh, very <laughs> eligible. No, he didn't say that, but... Uh, <laughs> uh, coming in, representing Maryland, and uh, you know what? Very excited to see uh, if Savadra is able to take down the Giants, uh, which could be uh, Katz's and Hatchet. Uh, spoiler alert. Those are next. Spoiler alert. And the next one here, Amanda, I have greatly disappointed today with my performance, Shirley. Uh, actually, my personal coach when I was trying to get better at speedrunning in this game, it's Katsis from Mexico. He has a personal best right now of 33 minutes and 46 seconds. Absolutely insane. Has over 2,100 hours played in the game. No idea how many attempts he has done in that. A, a real front runner for uh, developing speedrunning RTA in this game. Uh, was beating uh, world records left and right back in the day. Doesn't hold it right, but he was the first one to do the staying alive skip in RTA, which so now is basically. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's been doing so lot of that, uh, so much of that. It's it's a necessity almost for uh, all of these runners here today if they want to get some good times, and uh, we can all blame Katzis for that. <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. Um, uh, loving Katzis and. Uh... Also, competitive Rivals of Aether player, if you didn't know that. And oh, yeah, uh, very good catches. And speaking of uh, players who have really pushed this uh, game forward in progression, uh, we have, of course, none other than Hatchet. Uh, Hatchet uh, is the current world record holder for Marble It Up Full Game Classic with a personal best of 31 minutes and 36 seconds. Completely ridiculous, just a single death on that run. Uh, and this game is hard, so don't underestimate what it would take. 
uh, to beat it We're using the kinds of strats that Hatchet is going for um, as clean as he has. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, Hatchet has over 2,500 hours in Marble It Up. He was one of the uh, original community members, and oh my gosh, he just landed Pit Skip during uh, the warm-up practice. Okay, uh, Hatchet is definitely the player to watch in terms of uh, crazy skips. We've got Stay and Skip, we've got Pit Skip, we've got Confluence New Roots, uh, as well as New Roots for Uphill Both Ways. Um, Hatchet, of course, you may know him from the awesome Game Zone Quick 2022, just a few weeks ago. And, uh, you know, I was a uh, pleasure of mine to uh, commentate for him there. Uh, also, uh, as a fun fact about him, he has a beta fish named Sebastian. Uh, but uh, definitely looking like the favorite for this race, Hatchet. But again, we've got contenders. Nothing is decided. There's no way to know how this is going to go until we get into it. Very, very true. Uh, let's take a moment. This is we're exciting. Gonna uh, go back out to the caster desk for a moment, and we'll join back in on uh, the race, and we'll get started in just a short few minutes. All right, we're back, and we're running... Just a tiny bit long, but uh, you know what? I'd want to take a moment to acknowledge the history of this event, the Super Bowl, and it all started with you, Gluten. Uh, yep, somehow it did. Uh, I am uh, I'm withholding the title of accidentally starting this madness of uh, bringing speedrunners back into this game. Uh, and uh, yeah, I started streaming this game uh, back in late 2019. H-Dude came in being all cocky, saying, I can beat you in a full game race. Let's get it on. I mean, it was and, obviously uh, true. I don't know why I was so uh, <laughs> so adamant about it. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it did ring true. But uh, we, we started a race amongst uh, just the two of us. People got in. We made it a thing. Or you made it a thing, basically. I was just uh, <laughs> the, the, the victim in the entire uh, getting smacked in RTA racing scenario. But what did it kickstart? What, what happened? Uh, well, you started writing in my chat. Let's uh, I, I, you said to me, if I remember correctly, uh, I think I can beat you in a full game race, even though I haven't played for like a year. And I was like, bring it on. <laughs> so, yeah, you took that and ran. Yep. Uh, and just kind of the result that came out of that. This is obviously the third annual year of Super Bowl. Uh, we had no idea it was going to become a big event, uh, but... Even in the aftermath of that very first Super Bowl, we were starting to see the effects of how explosive it was for the growth of this community. Um, and, you know, we saw the same thing in 2021 uh, leading up to the Super Bowl. And again, those uh, that amount of time after the Super Bowl, there was a certain amount of energy and so much progression and so many new uh, runners, so many new uh, sub 40s, so many new uh, milestones for the community. And uh, it's so cool to have that and be here with what we're doing uh seeing how far it's come and how many runners we have here in this incredibly tight race that we're about to see yeah it's very exciting i'm i'm dying to see these uh these runners go at it every year i love coming back to speed running this game even though I'm, <laughs> i play january february once every year and then i'm i'm off on uh, marble vacation but, okay. Uh, I just love coming back for this. Lots of excitement. Uh, I don't think we have time for predictions. We're just going to go right into it. Uh, let's go ahead and get back into this room, and then we will uh, get the timer started in momentarily. All right, getting started, we are going to be bringing up a few of these runners. Uh, and I do need to uh, briefly, uh, excuse me for a moment while I pause on a few of these uh, runners on top uh, because I need to make sure we get our timer synced up with the other players. Uh, so bear with me here for a moment while we do that.
so actually, this is a good time to ask uh, Gluten if you have any predictions. Uh, I did write down my predictions. I'll take them uh, real quick here. Uh, I've set my man Hatchet on first place for today. Uh, world record holder uh, is an active runner as well. Uh, I put my belief in Katzis as well, coming back into this now today for second place. And I had to keep my Neotic boys in the top three. So both Hatchets, of course, in first and J2 on third. I think Sev will take fourth place and Hyren will snatch that fifth place. Last place, Marbler. Sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, it, it has been over a year since his last uh, personal best. So, um, you know, it, it's good to be in practice and uh, to de-rust. But we'll see. He, he could be a little bit of a dark horse in this race. All right. Once we get this in, that should be refreshing our timer and syncing it up with everybody else. Um, unfortunately, perhaps not. Uh, bear with us with just a moment, please. I see that. Uh, we have a fix for the timer. So once we get back into this race review, I should be able to update it. There we go. Everything's lined up. We've got uh, <laughs> showing off that uh, secretive behind the scenes um, communications from Hatchet there. And uh, again, big shout out to Hatchet who has uh, done so much on the back end of this uh, and of course hatchet is also uh, going to be one of the runners that we're watching here so we'll keep an eye on him we've got uh, a few of the top runners here we're not gonna be able to watch everybody once again a little bit limited by our technology of the time uh, but it looks like we've got our timer set up we've got our race view open and uh, we have so many runners in here of course our, our runners joined by uh, whiskey mancer and uh, andy c and so we are ready to start the timer. Uh, Hatchet, if you are listening, we are going to get this going. Race, race, race. Let's get ready to go. This is going to be great. We've got 15 people here to keep our eyes on. Of course, uh, you in the stream will not be able to see 15 people at once. Or uh, H dude will... Uh, Maybe, <laughs> someday. Maybe, Maybe someday. someday. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. All right. Hopefully. Let's roll. Here we are then. Level one. People taking some different routes. Some people doing the uh, edge jumps or, and some people just going straight ahead. On your screen here for the start, we have uh, Hatchet on the top left. Uh, Twinx dying on learning to turn. And again, that is just a curse. Every race, somebody dies on learning to turn. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm watching like multiple people. Okay, I, I got to... <laughs> I gotta lay off this for a moment. Um, yeah, so what are we what are we seeing here? Uh, what's different in the uh, Super Bowl Invitational race uh, in this early game than what we might see from the open runners? Early game here for these people is definitely just uh, micromanaging every single bounce, getting all of those small second advantages. Uh, most of us in the open. Just take these uh, easier straight ahead levels without too many crazy skips to uh, much time gain because failing them can be much too much of a time loss. These people are looking to get every single bounce in the direction to the next gem and onwards to the goal. Uh, quite a spread uh, this early uh, just uh, amongst the two or three levels uh, as far as I can see some people uh, just finishing up full speed ahead. Some people starting it, and I think we've got uh, uh, someone coming, getting close to the last uh, chapter one level here. Yeah, I see Berserk just starting up on Almer and Upward after a very clean finish on Stay Frosty. And uh, we're only a minute and 45 seconds in here, so we could expect to see some of these top runners coming in. Uh, Hyren actually uh, surprisingly dropped up behind in this early game. Uh, however, his chapter two and the rest of his early mid game is very strong as well, so uh, we could see anything happen here. 
Yep, Hatchet seems to be the first one into Chapter 2, currently on Duality, uh, followed by Sevadra and Berserk, very uh, close to each other, those two, Seven Berserk, uh, almost identical at the moment. Yes, sir. All right, let's uh, try to get a few more runners here on screen. Uh, we're going to bring in uh, Savadra, as you said. Savadra's coming in, gets setting up this transit skip that so many of these sub-40 runners are doing. And that is it's actually it. so much harder than it looks. I mean, it looks hard, but uh, the timing and the, the spin and the momentum that you need to do it correctly is uh, very, very challenging. All right, we're going to watch Hatchet die twice on Great Wall. Um, uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, this joke just doesn't get old. Um, but, you know, it's a, it's, that was, I'm just amused. I'm just amused whenever that one comes up. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, we've got lots of time to watch the front runners, especially later on in the race. Uh, so let's go ahead and see, uh, who else we have in that sub 40 range who we're going to be watching. Uh, we can bring up a group of Swede runners. Uh, just for a little bit of fun. We've got Villa Olaf and Atham uh, both on screen right now. Both on the same level as well. Villa is uh, finishing it up as Adam is uh, trying to get over this gap here. Um, rolling around a bit behind Villa. And uh, not too far though, just half a level. Just yep. about. about. As Villa fails. Oh no. Oh wait, no. I think uh, we're both tied going into uh, Bump Evasion. Or, pardon me, uh, Bump of the Night. Uh, but I think of all the very interesting rivalries, uh, you know, obviously these sub-40 runners, uh, most of them know each other quite well, but of all the rivalries, I'm most interested in this one to see who will be the Supreme Swede of Super Bowl 2022. Me, of course. And of course, another great rivalry we are going to bring up here is uh, Berserk and Twin-X. Uh, these two uh, very good friends who started playing together and are literally one second apart from each other on the full game leaderboards. Uh, Berserk came in with uh, his time and uh, <laughs> uh, Twin X came in and beat it by a single second. So uh, going to see how these guys are doing. And they're both on wave pool once again. Um, relatively close race, which it normally is during the early game. But uh, as we continue throughout the run, we're going to see the leaders really separating themselves from the players who've barely gotten into the sub-40. Any other Those rivalries look, that you're looking out for? Uh, I don't know. You were talking a bit earlier before the stream. You were having high hopes for Savadra, thinking he can take that second place. So I definitely want to see Sev and J2 together with the Katzes fighting for those... Uh, second, third and fourth spots. I think that's uh, where those guys might end up. Uh, J2 just behind Savada right now. Yeah, both the on Katz's... RKRT. Yep, uh, not a lot separating them. Cats seem to be a little bit ahead. Absolutely. It's going to be uh, even harder for me to keep up with all of these runners uh, because they're just moving so fast. Nobody's spending too long on any of these early game levels in particular. And yeah, like you said, we're seeing that very, very close uh, race. These are the Three runners in the sub 40, uh, uh, pardon me, the sub 35 range who have an opportunity to challenge Hatchet at his best event. Or second best event. Let's not forget Stratosphere and individual levels. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, gonna be very, very fun seeing the uh, rivalry going on between these three. Uh, let's check out some of our other runners here that we've got. Uh, I'm gonna pull up. Uh, Chorals for you to see, uh, and I'll clean up this board a little bit because it's hard to watch so many people at once. Um, again, thank you very much for bearing with us. Uh, any kind of frame drops or anything like that, uh, we are slightly limited by our technology. Uh, however, hopefully in future years we'll be able to get a little bit more of a casting setup that is going to make this a little bit easier. Uh, Chorals with an edge chip there, quite interesting strat. Uh, yeah, looking very nice. Uh, we've got Chorals on screen. We've got EPL Lip Switch on screen here at the moment. Chorals on the top, EPL at the bottom. Uh, both on Thread the Needle, Chorals finishing up and getting into Chapter 3. And you can see we're still under 7 minutes. Uh, I don't think anybody got out of Chapter 2 in 7 minutes in the open race, and yet already we have 
probably close to half, if not more than half, of our uh, invitational runners who are pulling that off here. Uh, yeah, Umbra finishing up now on that uh, chapter he seems to be, together with Whiskey, uh, one of the people at the back finishing up that. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to keep a close eye on our uh, Invitational uh, last minute winners uh, who won the Open to get into the invitation, I should say. Um, and we'll bring those up in a moment, but right now we're looking at Umbra Sunset on the bottom and Marbler on top. And both of these guys are doing a skip on Sugar Rush, uh, which is very, very cool. You may have seen uh, Skullfire doing it earlier. Skullfire is a legend on Sugar Rush, especially when it comes to going backwards off the edge at start. Right, right, right. And uh, you can also see Umber down below showing off Elevator Aggression, uh, just barely missing that soft, uh, that soft landing and puts him right back neck and neck with Marbler. You know, of all the intended shortcuts in the game this one is definitely the hardest um that one messes with absolutely every single runner in this game who goes for it and uh but it's so satisfying and saves a very strong amount of time number seems to hit it right there uh getting the perfect jumps on both of those ramps is very very difficult and then you need to go down to this moving red platform at the bottom and bounce into the goal that is a sub 20 second finish on that level which is very impressive yeah, now speaking of elevator action, we've got um, our one and only Whiskey Mancer who just pulled off a version of it uh, there on the bottom of the screen. And he's going in to pick up the gem that he missed above. However, not dying there uh, still saves a lot of time, even if you have to go back for one of those gems. Yeah, uh, doing it the slow way is about uh, 42 seconds, I reckon, so still saving 10 seconds there. And you see a little further ahead uh, on River Vantage. And he's going for this backwards skip that was, again, uh, discovered by C-Murder. Very clean. Actually got up there with quite a lot of clearance. And he's going to finish out that level with a very good time. So difficult, that skip. All right. Now, who are we going back to? Let's go ahead and have a look at uh, Hatchet, potentially. Uh, we'll see where he is. He's already finishing up Time Capsule and coming into Coggers. Good timing. Coggers! Perfect timing. All if you right. got the spinning emo in chat, we want to see it right now if Hatchet hits this. Very difficult skip. Here All he goes. of the speed down the ramp. First try. Get the bounce. Looks Coggers. that way. Should not be missing that. Oh. Very easy for Hatchet. Beautiful. beautiful, beautiful. And I wonder if there's anybody else who's going to keep up with that. Uh, sub 10 minutes getting into chapter 4. And, you know, you can already see how far ahead of those open runners uh, <laughs> these invitational tryhards are, if you will. And uh, just goes to show why it was so important for us to split us up into multiple categories. And again, you know, we, we might end up needing more divisions in the future because there's just so many runners participating in these events. It's wonderful to see. We've got uh, had 12 people in the Open and uh, now 15 then with the two people joining in the in the Invitational. It's wonderful. Savadra now on the Cogger skip. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but he did hit it. And I think Savadra is actually the uh, second place behind Hatchet. Katsus is just behind Savadra starting up Cogger's right now. So I think uh, that will be the top three. Twinks is in fourth. Yeah, so we can see uh, both Katz's and Hyren are getting into Coggers at the moment. Uh, I'll try to close up a couple of these so we can see better. Katz is going in for it. First try. We also see J2 landing it at the same time. It's uh, a I may have missed Hyren there, but he's on... Um, uh, pardon me. Yeah, he's still on um, off kilter. Off, off kilter. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, we're, we've got a number of our uh, top runners getting into chapter four now. Um, with Hatchet, of course, leading the way. Again, the favorite for this event. Let there be no doubt. We we know that. However, uh, the other runners are very much exciting to uh, see how they're going to be doing. Uh, let's have a quick look in on our Swede runners again. Good timing for Ville here, hitting the uh, Coggers, whilst uh, Adam is uh, just past that. Let's start it up uh, next chapter here. Yeah, so, they're both uh, Ville on Bumper Invasion. Yep, they're on the same level right now. Adam is at the ending part, and Ville is at the uh, middle part, I should say. So 
just half a level between them still, but the, the positions have switched and Adam is in the lead when it comes to the Swedes at the moment. Yes, sir. Oh man, there's there's so many runners to keep up with. I feel like I'm missing so many amazing strats. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, still a pleasure to be able to showcase what these runners can do and uh, just how consistent with so many of them are landing these strats, that beautiful braid finish coming out of Atham. So uh, let's keep moving on and seeing who else is going to be uh, contending for this race. Retrograde rally right now for Hatchet, so still pulling ahead. Katsis is on braid, it seems, has missed the uh, optimal route. Ville, too, misses the optimal route. Uh, let's see, I was actually uh, did want to look at uh, J2, who what? is starting up on... Yep. Once again, we see one of our great rivalries. We've got uh, Twin X as well as Berserk, both starting up on the wonderful Epic. And so, again, man, just so many uh, little races within this big race that we've got to see. We've just got to see. I think it's a point of pride for each of these two to beat each other. Oh yeah, for sure. Has to be. Uh, Hatchet, once again, leading the way, coming into Acrophobia. Fun little skip here that we saw a version of, a crazy version of, actually, during the uh, open race. Hatchet carrying so much speed around these corners. Very risky, has to jump over the bumper. And, Missed uh, a jam, yeah. Yep. Unlucky. A bit too fast for even the world's best at that time. Yes, sir. Let's uh, let's have a quick look at how Katz's and G2 are doing. Uh, J2 coming off the finish of Retrograde Rally. And I think we might be chugging along here with the computer, so... Yeah, Katz has just started up Retrograde Rally, so J2 ahead by a level. Here we got uh, Katz's in the top left, as well as J2 on the top right, and below we have a view of Savadra. This chapter four um, is not as skip heavy, more focused on the amount of time you can shave off every little corner and every little bit of movement in, edu um, in the movement. And, oh man, that's such a smooth finish on Retrograde Rally out of Katz's. Uh, again, Katz says, man, he has progressed this game so much, uh, especially with Stan Skip. And, uh, but that's coming up next. That's coming up next uh, next chapter. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. We will get there. That's a, that's a beast that you don't really dare try as a new runner. You're like, no, maybe I just skip that. And uh, I do the staying skip skip instead. And just uh, sit tight. Uh, check uh, Twitter, maybe. Or read chat if you're a streamer. Uh, famously, a quote from UH2 that that level is for reading chat. That level, I mean, it's honestly uh, being not quite at the level of the top runners in the sub 4 getting. I, I mean, I, I've got myself a 38, okay? So I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but that level is way too intimidating for me, and seeing people go for it, um, giving up their only opportunity to kind of take a break and a breather in the middle of the run really makes the whole run very much a non stop event. Chapter 5, now Hatchet, starting up on uh, Newton's Cradle. Oh my the gosh. first one to reach there, as uh, Savardra is on the last level on Chapter 4. Yeah, Hatchet finishing in under 16 minutes, coming into Chapter 5. So we're going to have to keep his stream up now, as he's kind of charging the way ahead of this pack, and uh, potentially showing us uh, some of those big skips and being the first to do so. Oh yes. Uh, we'll catch up on a few other runners as well, uh, bringing up Chorles there, he's currently on Gearheart. Uh, also, we're going to have a quick look in on what Marbler is doing at the moment. Uh, also on Gearheart. Man, this event is moving so quickly. We, I would love to have a full production follow, team yeah. for this, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, the we're, we're doing everything we can with the technology that we have available to us, but at the same time, I feel like no matter what kind of setup we had, it would be so difficult to follow this race. There's just so many 
fantastic runners and um let's take a moment and have a look at this run time for hatchets hatchet is going to be Laying attempting skip. stay and skip this is the most important skip in the game and one of the hardest he's using analog turn and advanced technique to build up as much speed as possible around this just staying on that beam is a miracle and a bounce a bounce the consistency that hatchet does this the execution oh. it's beautiful and we'll be seeing a number of other seconds. runners and uh trying to showcase as many runners doing that skip as we can um but we're going to see who's the closest to getting to that point uh, as Hatchet is coming up and, and uh, moving on forward with Chapter 5. Uh, it looks like maybe we've got Savadra getting close to having um, to try a staying skip. Uh, so he's uh, getting onto that level right now, actually. Right. We'll catch up with Savadra momentarily. Uh, after we put away a couple of other runners here. Uh, Famously, Roger, uh, grabbing some of those time travels, uh, hoping to maybe get that $10 bounty. Possibly, possibly, or just might be uh, pure muscle memory. Uh, this level used to uh, be uh, known as an only controller uh, able skip, as you had to do controller turning. Of course, Ooh. that uh, has basically changed in Savardra. He misses. It didn't quite get the speed a new on setup. that beam. He actually had maybe a little bit too much speed, if anything, uh, for the setup he was using. Uh, but uh, maybe not first try, but we'll be seeing some other runners definitely going for this. Uh, anybody else to watch who might be coming up on that trick? That really is a special trick, and we want to catch as many people getting it as we can. J2 is doing it right now, actually, I can see, and he misses it, so we might be able to see him try again. We'll try to get an attempt there out of J2. We'll see if he's going for it. I see Savadra's uh, taking the easy way. Um, you know, he missed it once, but now he's just going to do uh, staying alive as normal, and honestly, that's a pretty good policy. Otherwise, you end up getting stuck on something that you can't quite get several times in a row. Yeah, it's uh, really uh, frustrating to get stuck on uh, the same skip for too long. Uh, Savardo doing it safe. Uh, Berserk is doing it safe. Katz is now. We want to keep Rice there. Oh, yeah, we got to get Katz. Is. Katz has introduced this skip to the full game category. Uh, showed a incredibly high level of uh, consistency on this trick. Um, really made it possible for somebody to even think about doing this in a full game run. He, he's not doing it. Oh, no, he is. Oh, he he's is? He's grabbing all the time travels along the way. He wants that $10 and bounty. And then going, oh, my lord. Katz is. The confidence. That, I'm, he, he wants the bounty. He wants to win. Oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, that's good. Oh, my gosh. Katz, that's insane. What? 20 seconds with what? the skip. Katz says, that's <laughs> insane. Who is this man? That was the craziest thing I've skipped. I've ever what? seen. That oh is impressive. All right, that okay. That is so impressive. Oh, all right. Hyron now is going to try it as well. Let's see if we can match that level. That that uh, that will be the highlight of this event right there. And right Andy, there. Adam, and Hyron on Staying Alive right now. All right. Um, I don't know if Andy C is going to be going for Staying Alive. Uh, Hyron certainly will be. And Atham, I don't know. Have you been seeing Atham do this? Yep. He, he famously said that he invented controller turning on this skip. Uh, he is not going for it, though. It seems he's just doing it the regular way. Hyron's got his stock keyboard and mouse set up doing it, trying to set up the same way that Savadra was, uh, but landing it first try. That he does. That's very impressive. Gets the bounce on the one of the lower pillars there for going into the goal. Marbler. Not sure if he's going for it. Vila Olaf right now on staying alive as well. Trying to keep up with all of these staying alive. They're so close together. It's very difficult to uh, um, follow everybody. Yeah, let me pull up Olaf because I know that he's uh, has this in his back pocket. Whether or not he pulls it out for this run. We will see. Uh, closing a couple other runs here. Um... I don't know if I want to spoil it for any runners who might actually be listening, but there's no way anybody other than Katz is going to win that prize. 
<laughs> all, all right. Okay. Let's uh, let's move on. We see Hatchet right now uh, doing the other highlight of this run. Uh, going to be attempting pit skip. If he lands it, this will be the most difficult trick in the run. Okay. Not quite exactly this time. Exactly the same scenario as on uh, uh, all games done quick there. Yep. Uh, Not yep. going to die for it. it. Not going to nope. lose any time for trying it. Uh, so that's really exactly. the key that makes that worth going for, even though it's so, so difficult. And he's going to be leading the way into Chapter 6 now. Super fast, super fast. I think uh, Savardo's still in second and he's on flip the table. Uh, so there, there's quite some distance that Hatch has, Hatch has gotten himself right now. And the other runners really need to hope that he uh, makes some mistakes on Chapter 6. Otherwise, he's, uh, the, the world record holder is just going to sweep the floor here and catch uh, first place. Absolutely. Look at this paddle. Oh, what a skip. Oh, oh <laughs> no. that's, okay. It looks like this is just a repeat run. Uh, I think we might be watching a replay of Hatchet at AGDQ 2022. Yeah, very possible. Very possible. <laughs> can, we, can, we, can we confirm that this is li live? Okay. I, I, <laughs> I, I, won't, uh, I won't badger him too much over that, but... Uh, oh, man. That's a very, very nice looking skip. Absolutely. All right. Let's make sure we're keeping up with some of our other runners. Uh, let's see how Andy C and uh, Whiskey Mancer are doing. Uh, they are, uh, again, our two runners who are joining us, uh, who were originally in the Super Bowl Open. Andy C nearly getting that uh, Crystalline Matrix skip. And uh, as we make sure that Hatchet is, as a front runner, still up on screen for anybody who wants to see. Uh, landing that Danger Zone skip that you saw from the Open Race. And he's going to get that Crystalline Matrix skip. That is uh, Nicely a super done. difficult skip. Super difficult. I I know. I I'm regret learning that, that skip. I, yeah, I gave up, man. I gave up. Um, who else can we catch up with? Let's see. How are we doing over there uh, with EPL Lip Switch? I uh, want to make sure we're giving uh, some attention to all of these runners. Um, because all of them have earned... Uh, spot in this race and it was not easy to earn whether you earned it by winning a uh, top two spot in Super Bowl Open or by qualifying with a sub 40 run. I mean like it took me a year and a half to get a sub 40 run I, I, in fact longer so I know exactly how much of a, a grind it can be uh, especially for players who uh, are not super experienced with marble up speed running in individual levels or anything like that um, and we're seeing so many runners. There's 16 runners under 40 minutes now. How do you feel about that, Gluten? It's insane. I used to be, uh, <laughs> I used to be in the top 14 with the time that I've got right now on a 45. So definitely a lot of good uh, runners coming in and getting some really good times on the leaderboards, which you love to see. It's uh, it's starting to look cramped, so you can actually start to be proud of your times. Uh, difficulty, uh, usually when there's a quite a few people you're like i'm in the top 10 of speed running the game okay how many people have ran it uh 10 yeah so it's great great to have a a, a big number of people playing it and that, speed running it because that's the competition that's where a the beauty bit of, of this prestige. game is. for sure uh let's keep up with our other runners let's see how uh umber sunset is doing over here uh he's finishing up staying alive himself uh didn't go for staying skip i've seen umbra land staying alive skip uh first try in runs before uh, however, just finishing up the level normally for now. It is a race. You can't land everything in a race. Um, some of these very difficult tricks are very reset heavy in PV attempts. And so in a race, there's a strategic element of uh, what are you going to go for? What are you going to risk it on? Uh, and potentially end up um, losing your placement of a, uh, either a winning placement or one of those top threes that are so coveted in this race with cash prizes. Very true. Twinks right now struggling a bit on Danger Zone, trying to finish that up. Uh, but Umbra, in the in the backfield, I have set Umbra uh, in my predictions as second to last, just because he, he, Umbra. I need to say this: one of the most uh, skillful uh, Marvel top players out there. Certainly. Just very very stubborn. Wants to hit these IL skips and will not give up. I think he when we saw him finish staying alive. Uh, the the regular way. A while ago, I saw him start it, and I thought he would be done with it long before we saw him do it regularly. So I, I do believe that he actually tried the skip, 
a couple of times at least, and then just kind of, oh, whatever. <laughs> I'll just give up. But when he's on his game, way. like, he has a sub 37 times, so there's there's no way you can do that without having um, a ton of clutch ability. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, J2 now getting into uh, Chapter 6 as well, while Hatchet is forging ahead. Now showing off our first kickflips of this run. First try. Gonna get the checkpoint, playing it quite safe. Checkpoint strats. Hatchet doesn't always use those, so apparently... Yeah, going for that safety strat, knowing that this is, in fact, uh, a race that he still has in his ball, in his court. He, the ball is in his court, rather. Um, it's his race to lose. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's uh, plowing ahead right now. Going to finish up the kick flipping and just move on in to uh, the level that uh, ruined my run earlier today. So I'm going to look away from Hatch's POV right now. I don't want to see this. Yep, uh, looking at... Uh, who are the biggest threats to Hatchet right now? We've got uh, Savadra right now on Radius. Uh, J2 as uh, well. We've got... Uh, I, I want to keep checking in on these uh, runners that have been pushing forward. Uh, a lot of runners now on Chapter 6, but nobody even close, I don't think, to where uh, Hatchet is right now. Not quite, no. We've got uh, both Savadra and Twinks on Radius. And we got a couple of runners on Platinum Playground. Katz is there. Uh, Katz is, yep. And Adam as well on Platinum Playground. So uh, quite close between Adam and Katz's, which is fun to see. Oh, hi, Ren. Barely getting in there on Danger Zone. Most runners right now moving into Chapter 6. We've got Marbler uh, finishing up the last level on Chapter 5. Vila just starting that. Uh, Vila probably not quite happy with his run here today, falling behind uh, the other Swede Adam quite a bit at the moment. Uh, not quite as active field. on the RTA leaderboards as he used to be. Um, however, uh, definitely has been a powerhouse in this category. Uh, Olaf uh, has been spending sure. a lot of time working on the auto splitter for Marble Up, which I think almost all of the runners here are using because uh, it's so, so convenient. Uh, splitting during a run can be very very difficult to do manually. Uh, Twin X actually ahead of Katz is now on Head in the Clouds. So we keep an eye on Hatchet. Uh, coming, looks like a very quick Olympus so far. If he doesn't die here, he might pick up the, the cash prize for this. Uh, we won't know, of course. Uh, he's the first one to do it. But uh, I do reckon if he doesn't die, he'll land about a 2-5 something around there. Can't quite remember. We got a few, a few bounces for safety, and that's uh, definitely totally okay. Um, checking in on that uh, rivalry between Berserk and uh, Twin X. And it looks like Berserk is coming ahead, uh, failing the first kickflip, but uh, Twin X is not quite there yet. He's still one level behind. Yeah, Berserk can keep this lead over Twin X if he hits this uh, kickflip. Ooh, this uh, might end up actually quite... being pretty close. Uh, this rivalry. right now. Yep, we can actually catch up. Berserk needs to hit this right now, playing it safe, going from the back side of this uh, platform. Spins around, gets just enough height. Yep. Just getting no that kickflip there. in here. And he will be followed by Twin X, who is also doing that. Uh, checkpoint strats again. I highly recommend checkpoint strats, especially during a race. And, oh, lands a version of it, and that should be enough. Uh, to just touch those platforms and keep going. Uh, right now, we are going to start... I mean, we're only 31 minutes into this race. Hatcha we're on, is we're on Stratosphere. Level. We're on Stratosphere, so we're going to start focusing in on our runners as they are finishing the runs. So I'll have you keep an eye on anybody who's uh, on Tangle or approach Stratosphere. Uh, make sure we get a chance to have a look at them as they're going. Uh, we saw uh, Berserk and Twin X uh, both on Confluence at the moment. Uh, but let's bring up some of those other runners who might have a chance of uh, coming in here. But it looks like Hatchet is in the process of running away with this run. That he is. He's not going to be far off from his own personal best either. As he finish this, uh, finishes up Stratosphere, his favorite level. So I don't reckon he'll make any mistakes here. He's just uh, going to sail on through till the end. Not quite world record, but honestly... Not very far off either. 
Nope. We see Savager coming in Olympus. I don't even think anyone's on Tangle yet. Um, just a, a wonderful lead, and this is going to be uh, one of Hatchet's above-average uh, kind of finishes. Not a PB by any means, but uh, even so, uh, very clutch to be coming in, probably looking like a sub-33. A sub-33 during Super Bowl. Absolutely nuts. That is absolutely crazy. I must admit... And I think uh, in the second place runners right now, it's got we've got Katsis, Savadra, 32-33. Insane hatchet. Legends. So impressive. Very, very impressive indeed. Um, we're seeing some players on Olympus here. We've got, again, Savadra. We've got Twin X. Um, who else are we watching out for? Berserk is here. Um, nobody on Stratosphere yet. I don't know if there's even anybody on Tangle. Um, watching J2's nope. falling a little bit behind down on Confluence. Uh, but definitely trying to keep an eye on these frontrunners as we get to the, uh, approaching the end of this run. Uh, who else might be here? Um, just gonna keep an eye on a few other players as we're here. We've got Marbler who is on Centripetal Force at the moment. Uh, who else are we able to pull up? Uh, hi, Ran. Hi. Uh, hi, Ran doing kickflip stuff. Currently doing kickflips, and it looks like Savadra might be the first person other than the hatchet getting into Tangle. Yep, Savadra right now in second place. Doing very well here today. And, uh, your prediction with, uh, Savadra second place might be true here. There it is. Coming into Stratosphere, and he's the only one there. He's is, This is his uh, second place to, uh, once again, to uh, secure for himself. Uh, Berserk? Trying to keep an eye on some of these other runners as well. Yeah, Berserk coming in on Tangle now. Yep. Berserk uh, quite well in uh, third place at the moment. Has Katsis, Twinks, Adam chasing him at full speed. J2 as well on Confluence. Uh, needs to bounce on some rocks to keep him alive. The Twinks hiring cats is Adam. Churls, J2, all of these people on Olympus trying to get the, possibly that quickest time as well. That's worth $10. Berserk's on Stratosphere. Today. Berserk. So Survivor's got to land this. He does. Might be close if Savarda. Berserk has up top. Together here. Savadra down below, landing that gravity skip. Of course, not necessarily the hardest skip in the run, but uh, under the pressure right now, uh, we're going to see if he has what it takes to go for a final loop skip, or if he's going to try to play it safe. I think we've got our top three sorted, possibly, as Katsis is just halfway through the tangle route, trying to catch up as well as he can. We'll bring Katz's up here. We watch his Tangle finish as we also watch Savadra's finish on Stratosphere, securing that second place position, going home with 30% of the Super Ball pot. Congratulations, Savadra. Wonderful run by Savadra. That's a really, really good time. And uh, a lot of people performing well as well. So it's uh, definitely not easy. And uh, Berserk, possible. Uh, third place finish here if he doesn't miss up and Katz is looking to be fourth Adam is on Tangle ahead of all of the other uh, Olympus runners alright let's bring up Atham real quick as we watch these other two as well just coming in starting Stratosphere actually uh, in the time it took you to took me to get in there he's already past Tangle so we know that was a good Tangle for Atham absolutely Berserk congratulations you just finished third place Going home with 20% of the pot for the Super Bowl Invitational. Congratulations so much. Uh, and now uh, we don't have any other um, necessarily cash prizes given out, but we are competing for placement here uh, between Atham and Katz's and uh, so many other runners as well. Uh, a reminder to any runners who might be listening, uh, once you're done your run, please disable your video speeds uh, so we can focus in on the runners who are still here. 
Uh, but of course, we're going to be bringing our top three runners in on voice uh, quickly as after this event, uh, just as we did with the open runners, uh, to get their take on how the race went and uh, what they've accomplished here. Cats are coming in, Cats is securing the fourth position. Go ahead. Yeah, wonderful ending there from Cats. Is, uh, quite a good run. Uh, landing fourth, did not get second as I had predicted, but not too bad either. And uh, we're gonna see some more people getting into the last level here right now. Hyren is on Stratosphere, Churls is there as well. Adam is uh, just on the final loop here, about to snatch that fifth place. Is which, he? Uh, oh, it's uh, very close between way. him and Twin X. I actually oh, don't know. And Shorts as well. Where's Twin? Oh, Twin is gonna get it. Twin is gonna get it. Barely, barely, barely edging out Athel. Oh. Maybe a second or two. I gotta bring up this Troll's feet as well now that you've warned me. Yep. And he's just attempting his, uh, his Stratosphere uh, gravity skip there. You know, congratulations, uh, Twin X, on that uh, victory over Atham. Uh, Atham, I believe, uh, winning the Swede War against uh, Villa Olaf for this run. Uh, but as he well does. Resort coming out ahead of Twinks um, for those runs. Uh, who else can we bring up uh, who might be approaching this finish? Uh, I know Hyren. Hyren is, close. Hyren is starting out Stratosphere. Actually, already got the gem. Uh, Hyren coming from the land down under. That's how he does Gravity Skip, I think. I don't know. He didn't, He's never explained must it to be, me. Must be. Must be. Chorles now is going to finish. Chorles looks like he's going to take ball. it, yeah. And Hyren not too far behind, but not close enough that he could uh, do anything to catch up now. Uh, congratulations, Chorles, on your placement. All right, let's bring up a couple more of these runs as... Oh, man, Chorles and Hyren finishing. And so many runners have come in under sub-40. Um, you know... All of these people have done sub 40 before, but that is the best many of them have ever done. And so to even come close to matching that during uh, a race is, uh, again, very, very impressive. Absolutely insane. We're going to have uh, two Stratosphere runners right now. Marvel just started it. Ville uh, as well. Just a few. EPL up, which uh, is also on that. Point. So let's make sure we're uh, watching those three here. All right, all these Stratosphere runners, and they've all come such a long way. Um, it takes a lot of effort, a lot of... Um, there, there's a mental challenge to it as well, but so many of these players have overcome adversity in getting to uh, improving their skills and getting into the sub-40 range. Uh, interested to see who's going to be coming out on top. Looks like EPL Lip Switch is the first of these three to grab a gem. Yeah, that blip uh, has two more loops to go here. So, uh, not a lot for him to finish. Villa seems to be just behind him. Oh, actually, Marbler, I reckon, is behind that blip and then uh, Villa. It's so uh, close. Behind them. Yeah, it's very difficult to keep track. Stratosphere looks the same. Yeah. Everywhere. Well, the nice thing about having Discord calls rather than uh, going off Twitch as we used to is that. Uh, we know at least that there's no uh, video delay that's going to be significant in showing uh, who's winning and who is not winning. Um, Epic missed the ending. A death on the end, but Marbler has lost some speed. Um, and it looks like... Oh my gosh, that was close. Epic had it, but missing the finish, and Olaf is going to edge in in front of both of them with Marbler very closely behind. And Epic finishing up as well. Jeez, uh, man, that was fast. Like... All three of them coming in just on that 41 minute mark. Yeah, 10, 11, 12, those positions so close together. Uh, as well as uh, 8, 9 with uh, Shores Hiron, super close to each other. So, uh, yes, this sir. is crazy how uh, close it is all the way to the finish, even though uh, the last one might not be very close to the first one. But uh, very, very tight all the way for you know uh, the little groups. Uh, we have three remaining runners, and I actually love seeing this. Uh, these runners are very close together. Uh, Umbra going to be finishing up likely first here on Stratosphere. Um, so no surprise in the placement here for Whiskey Mancer, uh, as well as 
and you see those open runners who have never sub 40 before. However, the fact that they've been able to keep up with this pack of sub 40 runners shows you just how talented they are and consistent. Definitely very good runs from both of these. Coming from the uh, from the open, getting first and second. Stealing it from me, of course. I was hoping to get that. Umbra oh, seems darn to, it. Uh, oh, he does a different. Okay, never seen that before. Yeah, uh, Umbra coming in from the other side of the loop uh, compared to most runners. Uh, but it looks like maybe we have Andy C or Whiskey Mancer rather getting the gem before Umbra did. They all have the gem. This could go any way. Anybody makes Whiskey. one small slip up. Whiskey now on the way to the bowl. There he goes. Going Umbra up for that shot glass him. up top. Gonna land inside with the whiskey. And let's uh, go, whiskey. Man, what a close finish between these uh, these final three runners. Uh, whiskey, congratulations on your finish. Umbra, knowing he was just slightly behind, taking the risk, uh, hoping to to grab that placement. But you know what? Uh, he should be able to carry this out if Umbra is able to uh, get out a clean finish. Then he will oh, secure yep. his spot ahead of Andy C. Super close. It's very nice to see uh, it's this close all the way to the end that no one uh, gets left behind for too Absolutely. long. Absolutely. Uh, and just as, like, I feel like the race just concluded as far as the winner just a moment ago, and now we're already at the final entrance. Um, again, coming in from that uh, Super Bowl Open, Andy C. Uh, congratulations, everyone, on your finishes. Uh, that was a wonderful race. And uh, we are going to be moving over back to the caster desk for a moment. Uh, where we are going to bring in our top three runners for uh, a brief interview and uh, then just concluding this stream. Oh, yeah. All right, we're back. Uh, the very exciting conclusion of the Super Bowl Invitational Race. And, uh, you know, thank you, Gluten, so much for joining me. Uh, we're both going to be sticking around while we bring in our three runners, uh, starting with Berserk, who came in third place. Uh, so let's pull him into this caster booth now and hear what he has to say. Hello, how are you doing? Hi, Berserk. Uh, congratulations so much on your third place finish. That was very, very clutch of you to uh, come out and... Uh, really show what you can do in this category. Thank you very much. Uh, so how are you feeling about this win? Were you expecting it? Uh, you know, how do you feel about your rivalries with any of the other players? So, first of all, I definitely wasn't expecting it. I there's still, There was a lot of stuff that I was not super confident in, and I'm really surprised that I was able to bring a lot of it into that race and even and I didn't really notice how I like good I was doing until the end of Stratosphere. So that was definitely a huge thing to see. And in terms of rivalries, definitely as you said, Twinks and I are had a little friendly back and forth. Saw that but, coming. Yeah, it was it was definitely really fun to be comparing our times and stuff like that. Uh, it's been a pleasure having you uh, joining this uh full game category of this community uh you've been speed running for a while uh but definitely progressing your runs uh to a great extent and i i mean of course i just had you on speedrunner showcase and that was uh, a great chance to uh get a look into your approach to full game speedruns. and uh again congratulations so much thank you thanks for interviewing all right we're going to be bringing in uh next is going to be uh savadra himself uh, this guy's been in the caster booth before, um, and I'll go ahead and let Gluten take care of this one. Sev, my man! Gluten. That bro. was insane. Massive congratulations. I didn't believe, I thought you were going to get last, Sev, but you pulled out second. Uh, amazing work. <laughs> How does it feel, man? Uh, it's, it's bittersweet to say the least. Uh, it's second place. I had higher hopes for myself, but I can't 
be disappointed with my result. Yeah, for sure. Uh, hit hit most of the important stuff. Uh, pulled through. Uh, what you, what you gonna do with the money, buddy? What am I gonna do with the money? Uh, probably just like hold it for like emergency, cause uh, you know, <laughs> Why yeah, is... you gotta you gotta survive out here. So that's very yeah. true. No, it's not easy being a marbler always. It's it's like a <laughs> battlefield out there. You know, you know. <laughs> You ever play Fallout? Yeah, it's basically like that, except with marbles. <laughs> Massive congratulations, Sev. We're proud of you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for casting this as well. Thanks to you for casting as yeah, well. Yeah, thank you for casting. Okay, we've got a bit of a, a, a caster reunion here, but of course we need to bring in Hatchet, who is uh, our first place runner in Marble It Up. Full game race of 2022. The Super Bowl champion. And I mean, who saw this coming? Hello. <laughs> Hi, Hatchet. <laughs> uh, welcome in. Congratulations on your win. How are you feeling about all this? I'm I'm feeling really good. That, I was really happy with how that that run played out. I came within a minute of my PB. Yeah, sub thirty three. I was not expecting. Yeah, that was that was. Yeah, I'm just really proud of how that went out. It's a shame I couldn't land pit skip, but I landed you know what? it. You can't get oh, it. You, you guys were all. showing off in warm up, so <laughs> yeah, that was good. We we'll just edit that in. <laughs> yeah, we'll <laughs> no we'll, we'll just place the sure. place the stream a little bit there for you. Uh, get it all. Yeah, going. that was a good race overall. I was definitely feeling very nervous on staying because you need you need smooth smooth hand movements there, and my hands were a little shaky, but pulled through. Yes. Yeah, just really happy with how this race turned out. Very very cool. Um. You're going home with 50% of the pot from this event uh, after, you know, of course, all the other um, winnings have been uh, handed out. And uh, I just want to say a personal thank you for uh, your part in organizing this event. Um, of course, not only handling things behind My the pleasure. scenes during this run, uh, but also all the way back in December, kind of kickstarting the uh, the process of planning for this kind of more of an esports style uh, casting and competitive nature of the Invitational as separate from uh, the Open. Of course, that was all your idea to begin with. And um, it's been a lot of fun organizing that with you. And of course, um, you know, doing AGDQ with you as well. It was really, really fun. Yeah, it's it's been a pleasure. I've been... Marble It Up is looking bright. I really like what we've done uh, so far. And I look forward to future events should be a chapter tourney some point later in the year not sure when yet but that'll definitely be something to look forward to will be and yeah, thanks so much hatchet and uh that more or less concludes me. our stream for the super bowl 2022 um thanks so much we're gonna sign out uh gluten go ahead and uh get us send us on our way uh, I just want to say this community uh, is absolutely amazing. And that's to everybody. Uh, just such a welcoming group of gamers. Just loving to roll marbles. And uh, even though it uh, can be quite uh, confusing to try to watch 15 people speedrun this game at once. I hope that we made it as easy as possible for all of you at home to follow all of the action. It was definitely, definitely difficult for us to find where to place your eyes but uh, yeah, I love this game. Hopefully we can do more. Uh, I definitely want to get another chapter tournament going. So stick with the game. Don't stop speedrunning. You're all amazing. Bye, guys.